the same title of Bab Dada's Avyakt Murli dated 31st March 2007. The title is Be Worthy and Show the Father's Face Through Your Face Together with Being Constructive Nirman in Service Also Maintain the Balance of Speaking Pure Nirmal Words and a humble stage, Nirman. Okay. Om Shanti. Yesterday, we, Baba talked about asking us to check if we have imperishable happiness, godly happiness, and if not, we are not ex experiencing all this. It is because of due to name and fame and facilities of perishable temporary things. Baba talked about purity, which means the dharna of complete purity in our thoughts, words, deeds, relationships, and connections. And we should be brahmachari, transformers. That's what we are. We should not be influenced by anything because we are the ones who are going to help to bring the peaceless ones to peace. And our title is first, Masters of all powers, not some powers. Okay, now we will continue the Murli. Bab Dada has already given you a signal in advance that the practice over a long period of time at the present time is the basis of attainment over a long period of time. Baba says, do not think that it will happen by the end, that it will happen then. No, it has to happen now. Baba is asking why? To have a right to being the master of the self, you need the practice over a long period of time now. This thing Baba has been mentioning for a long, long time. Be ever ready suddenly and practice over a long period of time. If you are not able to have a right in one birth and you become dependent, then how can you have rights for many births? This is why Bab Dada is repeatedly signaling to all the children everywhere that the speed of time is now moving very fast. Therefore, all the children mustn't just become effort makers, but must become intense effort makers and experience the reward of effort over a long period of time now. Bhaptada has already told you earlier the signs of intense effort. An intense effort maker will always be a master bestower. He will not be one who takes, but a deity, not lefta, but devta, the one who gives. Not that you say, if I have this, I can make effort. If this one does it, then I will also do it. If this one changes, then I will also change. This one should change. This one should do it. Baba says, these are not signs of a bestower. Whether someone does that or not, I should continue to do it the same as Bab Dada, like Brahma Baba. You also saw the Sakar form. He never said, if the children do it, then I will do it. See, Brahma Baba always set an example. He never waited for others. I do, and so many times we have heard experiences when they see Baba sitting and doing some karma yoga, quickly children feel it and they will run and help. So Baba says, you also saw it in the Sakar form. He never said, if the children do it, then I will do it. It was always, I will do it and then make the children do it. And the second sign of 
intense effort is, Baba says, to remain constantly humble, even while carrying out a constructive task. There has to be the balance of being constructive and humble. And Baba is asking why? When you carry out a task with humility, Baba says you receive love and blessings from everyone's heart. Bab Dada has seen that in being constructive, that is on the field of service, nowadays everyone is making new plans with a lot of zeal and enthusiasm. For this, Bab Dada is congratulating all the children everywhere. That's very important. Eh? In Brahmin life, zeal and enthusiasm is the like vitamin together with happiness. Bab Dada has received many very good plans for constructive service. However, Bab Dada saw that the constructive tasks are very good, but to the extent that you have zeal and enthusiasm for service, if you are just as much balanced in the stage of humility, then in the construction that is in the task of service, there will be greater success in a more visible form. Bab Dada has told you earlier to have a humble nature, to have humility in your words and your stage when you come into relationships and connection with others. This is the praise of the deities. But Baba says, in fact, it is the praise of Brahmins. It is said of the deities that the words that emerge through their lips are like diamonds and pearls, invaluable, pure and gentle words, pure and gentle nature. Bab Dada is now examining you and so he should give you the result, should he not? Because this is the last turn of this season, Bab Dada saw that in having pure words and humility in your stage, more attention is needed. See, he always emphasizes on humility. Yeah? Bab Dada has already told you to accumulate in your three accounts of treasures. Okay. What did Baba see as a result? Let's see, what are the three accounts? You would have remembered them, would you not? Nevertheless, Baba is now revising them. First point, with your effort, increase your account of accumulation. With your effort, increase your account of accumulation. Second point, always remain content yourself and make others content too. Remain content and make others content while knowing the difference, sanskars, for through this, you are able to accumulate in your account of blessings. Baba says, if due to any reason, there is something lacking in making others content, it doesn't accumulate in the account of charity. Contentment is the key to charity, whether it is to remain content yourself or make others content. So important, eh? contentment is the key to charity whether it is to remain content yourself or make others content. Third point, Baba says, in service to, 
always be altruistic and selfish selfless eh? we have to be selfless in service to always be altruistic not have the consciousness of i i did this or my name should be mentioned whether there is the consciousness of i and mine in service baba says you are not able to accumulate in the account of charity you are experienced in the consciousness of mine why we are experienced 63 verse we are doing that so there is a lot of consciousness of mine even in a royal way i didn't mean it but it just happened or i didn't mean to say that so these are all some of the <coughs> excuse me royal way the least of the royal consciousness of mine is even longer excuse me than the least of the consciousness of mine in an ordinary way baba says whenever there is the selfish motive of i or mine and you are not altruistic very little charity is accumulated in your account baba will tell you about the list of mine some other time why because he says it is very long and very subtle so bab dada has seen that in your efforts you are all accumulating in your account according to your own capacity however there is now a need to increase the account of blessings and the account of charity this is why there now has to be attention paid to accumulate in the three accounts so what were the three accounts the first one baba says with your effort you increase your account of accumulation second one to remain content and make others content and the third one in seva to you must be altruistic so baba continues the variety of sanskars will be visible even now because sometimes always brahmins new brahmins or other brahmins or even lokiks always say they are bkis how come they are behaving like that because we have not become de- devtas yet we are still making effort so you see you can belong to any organization but the moment you say you are a brahma kumar or brahma kumari all eyes will be on you the variety of sanskars will be visible even now no one's sanskars have been complete yet baba says however now i should not be influenced by the weak nature or weak sanskars of others however now i should not be influenced by the weak nature or weak sanskars of others why baba gives the important self respect point i am a master with all powers a master almighty authority master sarva shakti one eh? with all powers baba says weak sanskars are not powerful weak sanskars cannot influence me a master almighty authority one with all powers the means of safety is to stay under bab dada's canopy of protection baba says remain combined with bab dada shrimad is the canopy of protection remain combined with bab dada shrimad is the canopy of protection now this is the last turn of this season baba says next season will continue according to the time but when the new season to celebrate a meeting begins what newness will you show in that have you made a new plan for yourself 
think about it. Have you made a new plan for yourself? The Baba is asking. Just as you think of new plans for meeting, for service, sorry, just as you think of new plans for service, similarly, in terms of all the old things about the self, what newness have you thought about for that? If you haven't thought about it, then Bab Dada is giving a signal. Each one of you definitely has to make a plan to bring about newness in your thoughts, words, connections, relationships, and deeds. Bab Dada will first of all see the result. What newness have you brought about? What old sanskar have you transformed with your determination? Bab Dada will first see this result. What are you thinking? Should we do this? Should we? Baba says, raise your hands. Those who are saying that they will definitely do this. Acha, will you do it? Or will you look at others? Many, many questions. Eh? What will you do? Do not look at others. Look at Bab Dada. Look at your big daddy. She has such a lovely and detached stage. Bab Dada says, if someone wants to see someone who has finished the consciousness of I and limited mind, then look at our Dadiji who is seated on Bab Dada's heart throne. She is such a sweet angel. Eh? Everybody loves her because of that. Very detached and very loving. We have these three key daddies. Dadiji, she is an embodiment of love. Dadi Janki is an embodiment of knowledge. And then Dadi Gulzarji is an embodiment of silence. They each have their own specialty. Eh? So Baba says, if someone wants to see someone who has finished a consciousness of I and limited mind, then look at our Dadiji who is seated on Bab Dada's heart throne. In her whole life, she has always been beyond the limited consciousness of I and mind. And the, and the result of that is, no matter how ill she is, she is beyond any feeling of pain. Just the one word is very firm. If anyone asks Daddy, do you feel any pain? Daddy, is anything happening to you? What response do they receive? It is nothing. It is because she has been altruistic and has a big heart. She has accommodated everyone and is loved by everyone. Baba says, you are seeing the practical sign of that. When people speak of Father Brahma, they say that the father was in him. Uh, because it is like no big deal. Brahma Baba, because Shiva Baba is with him. So people feel that he can do it. But Baba knows us very well. So he says, however, Dadi has lived with you under God's sustenance and the study. She has been your companion in service. So if one can become that altruistic in her stage, then can all of you not become that? Because when a person is altruistic, they have a lot of empathy and compassion. It makes her so special, isn't it, Dadiji? And normally when it's a soul that carries empathy, 
this soul has actually survived enormous pain. They would have gone through a lot of test papers in their life. So that's the example Baba has chosen. Dadiji, who is in God's heart room. So it, Baba says, so if one can become that altruistic in her stage, then can all of you not become that? You can become that, can you not? Bab Dada has the faith that you are the ones who will become that. Do you remember how many times you have become that? You have become like the father in many cycles. And even now, you are the ones who are going to become that. Continue to fly with this zeal and enthusiasm. The father has faith in you. So you too must also have the faith in your intellect that you are definitely going to become that. Have such faith in the intellect and continue to fly. Since you have love for the father in the subject of love, you say that you have more than 100% love. Is that right? All of those sitting here and all of those who are listening and seeing at their own places, Baba says, in the subject of love, do all of you consider yourselves to have 100% love? Then raise your hands. 100%? Baba is rechecking it. Eh? 100%? So everyone raised their hands. Acha. He don't want to miss anyone. Next is asking, those sitting at the back, raise your hands high. All of you raised your hands for this. The sign of love is to become equal. The one you love, your speaking should be like that one's. Your way of moving and fulfilling the responsibility of relationships should be in the same way that that one does. That is a sign of love. I repeat what Baba said. Eh? The sign of love is to become equal. The one you love, your speaking, should be like that one's. Your way of moving and fulfilling the responsibility of relationships should be in the same way. that the one does, that is a sign of love. Because if you truly have love, there was one of the Abhit Murli Baba say, a complete soul never complains. When we have so much of love for Baba, we remember Baba, what are we receiving? So much of power, Shakti from Baba. We have pure pride there eh? and zeal and enthusiasm makes us fly. Simple things, no? Simple things. It looks small, but it is a great thing. Like the other day when Baba says, the first flag is that of heaven. And whose flag is it? It is ours. In the whole world, the first flag, it is ours. So all these are things of pure pride and something to give us the intoxication. Okay, let's continue the Murli. Baba says, so next season, the father's face will be visible in everyone's face. The sanskars, similar to those of the father, should be visible in everyone's relationships and connections. Father's face 
You see, if you see when Bab Dada Smilan, Baba is always smiling. They say the smile is the lighting system of a face, a cooling system of the heart, and it boosts the system of the mind. So automatically, it that vibration it becomes, you know, so much of an attraction for everyone. Baba says, the sanskars similar to those of the father should be visible in everyone's relationships and connections. This is the return of love, to turn yourself. Look, the attitude of one thought of all of you and the power of yoga brought about a miraculous change in terms of Dadidi's health. The method of the power of silence, one united thought and one attitude showed the practical fruit. So congratulations to everyone for that. Baba says, yes, you may applaud. When you have seen the practical proof of one thing, of the determined thoughts, the collective power of remembrance and silence, when you have seen one proof, then in future too, for self-transformation, you have to look at yourself and you have to change. Important point, eh? When you have seen the practical proof of one thing, of the determined thoughts, the collective power of remembrance and silence, when you have seen one proof, then in future too, for self-transformation, you have to look at yourself and you have to change yourself. Baba keep telling because he is synchronizing all our thoughts. That's why we are having so many yoga bhattis, Jwala Mugi Yogs. Everyone will have one thought. If you want to bring a better world, the world transformation, these are methods. That's why Baba is reminding. It's now we have to, the chance to change because with God around in Sangam Yuk, we have got the power from Baba. We have got a lift from him. And we have the confidence who is with me. In Bhakti, it was just out of fear we did whatever we have to do. But here, everything we are not only doing with understanding, we know the philosophy of karma and we know how badly we have come down. We have totally descended rock bottom. And Baba is giving us the assurance, don't worry, child. I am there for you. Have the faith, not just faith, firm faith. God is with me. So it is a chance of a lifetime, no? Sangam Yuk for me to transform. I have a choice whether I want to change or not. Baba never forces us, but he keeps reminding very gently. He gives us a lot of assurance. Just think about it now. God is active on earth and we are in God's orbit and we are the one and only ones who are called God's children, God's family. And if I don't make the effort to change now, can I do it when God has left? Plus minus here and there, the hundred years Baba has said, we have only about 14 years. In that 14 years, do I have tomorrow? I am not sure. So it is now we make effort. Baba said not to worry that we came last. We still have a place in his heart, right? God's choice, that's what we are. So don't never, never be disheartened. Okay, we'll continue. Baba says, if you have to, sorry, if you have to, 
bow down then bow down but do not step away from bringing about transformation never become disheartened never work on yourself self transformation brings about world transformation right so do not step away from bringing about transformation each one of you has to have this determination and give the proof of it because all of you are worthy children the duty of worthy children is to give the practical proof acha so next baba talks about the homework the homework that bab dada gave for 15 days in that baba baba gave homework of just one thing did you remember it those who even in their thoughts did not give sorrow or take sorrow not in their dreams or in their thoughts raise your hands baba is asking eh not even in our thoughts should we have given sorrow and if we didn't then we can comfortably raise our hand so baba is asking stand up not only eh you can stand up only baba says only those who claimed past marks not those who only claimed a few marks why baba says did those baba is asking eh did those in the front row not do this see he is very observant right from the front to the back he observes everyone and sometimes he also reminds those who are watching from far away i am also seeing you so he is asking did those in the front row not do this why are those in the front row not standing up if we have done this then stand up because baba says not to give sorrow and take sorrow if we hurt someone's heart it is like throwing stone in the sea it's so difficult to guess how deep that stone will go how hurt that person will become so that's why we have to be very careful if and so baba says if you have done this then stand up if you haven't given any sorrow then stand up he's emphasizing further neither in your dreams nor in your thoughts baba says then applaud these people baba says double foreigners have also raised their hands acha you will remain immortal in this will you not remember the blessings of being immortal acha so baba continues it was the turn of bengal group meetings sir eh? it was the turn of bengal bihar orissa assam and tamil nadu to serve everyone baba says this can is shanti renovation yes baji um, can we continue the rest of the murli as homework no problem so i say as we see due to the interest of time we will take the rest as homework all this group meetings eh? we will hand over to you all and you can take it as homework we will just have a minute of silence and we can do some sharing of points om shanti thank you benji
of Chantry Angels. What is the point from Baba we've taken that you would like to share from the heart? Baba has given so many points to have so much of altruistic feelings, to have firm faith, to have a show everyone father's face to become humble to fly with zeal and enthusiasm what is it we would like to take for today om shanti One like to share anything? Om Shanti sister. Om Shanti Benji. So my takeaway point from today's Murli is Baba is talking about complete humility in the stage. Because if there is complete humility in the stage, it can reflect in your words or actions. And that uh, I have been experiencing is, is also biggest source of contentment and where Baba is also talking about contentment in today's Murli and service to all other souls, altruism. So, yes, that's my takeaway. Thank you. Very intoxicating, sister. Thank you, Benji. That's wonderful. Om Shanti. The two points that touched on today's Murli is Baba says, those who can give empathy are those who have already experienced life or situations or those kind of things that allows them to be empathetic. And only when we are empathetic is when we can bring forward compassion in dealing with connections and relations in our life. That is one takeaway from today's Murli. The second takeaway Baba says is have we all practiced? So he spoke about 15 days homework of whether you given sorrow or taken sorrow. So here what I was getting was Baba says that each soul that is learning and taking knowledge from Baba is preparing for Satyoga. And also these are the souls which will become Devata. And Devata or, or deity will never take... Um, sorrow or give sorrow will always stand in whatever circumstances, how people behave, what they speak is immaterial, but a devta will always keep giving. And that's another takeaway from today's point, Om Shanti. Yes, thank you. Truly, you see, we see our non-living forms, how beautiful, how cheerful, always smiling. Whoever comes to the temples, we never chase them away, whether it can be any person, a sinful, how sinful, it can be a prisoner, it can be a robber, it can be anyone, but the deities are always smiling and giving the hands of a bestower. True. Thank you, Wendy. Yeah, and today, Muli, you also mentioned, Muli speaks about who are a bestowers. If you yeah. are Kalyankari, then you'll always keep giving. And yeah. that's been standing in the place of altruistic love, unconditional love. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you, Benji. Yes, Pavana Ben, you want to say something? Yes, Sister Om Shanti. Om Shanti, Today, Baba said that you do not, you should not get disheartened any time, and always remember that you have to bring about the transformation. So instead of getting disheartened in any situation, we should focus on self transformation, and that will bring about the world transformation. Om Shanti. Shanti. Thank you, Benji. It's true because we can take small baby steps. No, we don't have to see in a big way, little little steps where we have self-reflection, okay, what did I do wrong today? Or what did I say 
then slowly we can check and change, check and change, and then learn to observe how Baba, Mama, and the seniors, very seniors, like Dadiji, he said, if not for anyone, just see Dadiji. Dadiji, Dadiji is a really a good example. Even uh, very recently before the lockdown, when we were in Madhuban, I still remember the brothers who are in Madhuban, the surrendered souls, they were telling your sister, we really miss Dadiji. She was a mother for us you now. Until today, you see, after so many years, we still miss her. You see, the way when they spoke, you can feel that love they still have for her because they are all Kumars, surrendered, and, you know, they received that mother's love from her. She was detached, but she was very loving. Om Shanti. Anyone else want to share anything for yourself? What do you like to take back for yourself? Om Shanti, sister. Shanti, Firstly, uh, sister, I love your voice because uh, every time you even give the feedback, you got such a sweet, resonating, angelic voice. So thank you, Baba, and thank you for this Murli. Um, others have already said it, but what I liked was in today's Murli's takeaway was the combination of being constructive and humble at the same time. So one is, yes, you have to be humble in everything that you do. But you also have to be constructive. So to me, this word was resonating as, yes, with zeal and enthusiasm, but finding newer and newer ways to connect with Baba, finding newer ways, like how you make a building, like how you construct. For me, the word constructive is you're finding ways to actually construct that beautiful divine connection, not only for yourself, but for everyone around you. And with that humility, you will get that everyone around you. But you also have to focus on how to construct. So for me, uh, these two points have to be worked out in parallel. Like this was my uh, takeaway. Like how do you make that happen? So find nice ways with Baba's blessings to make it happen. And now, don't leave it for later. Om Shanti. Thank you. Thank you, Benji. Yes, it's now or never. It is true. We, it's all in us. That's why everyone's journey is different. And the way when we meditate, our experiences are different, but never to give up. Om Shanti, anyone else would like to share? Heading on to what we were just talking about, never to give up. Bhavna Ben spoke about it, Harpreet Ben, and then you also took it on Renu Ben. It's easy uh, for us to try you know, give a listening ear or support someone for a, a given point of time. And a time comes and he says, this person is not going to be changing. And then we give up. Now, there could be anger, there could be ego from my side, or there's going to be somewhere I'll say that, okay, um, if he's not going to be bothered, if he's not listening, forget it. I'm not going to be supporting. Let him do, let him, he or she do whatever they wish to do. And while I was listening to this, what I was getting was keep giving what I can give as a support system without expecting the other person to behave in a particular manner. It's his, his or her journey. Bring Gyan here and allow that person, give that person the space to grow and never give up on supporting anybody. Om Shanti. Oh, and it's really for self as well. Sometimes we say, Ki, nahi hoga, Mirza. this is not going to be happening from, from my side. Even that conversation is demeaning conversation is what I was getting. So even for self, never give up on self. Keep doing the efforts and work towards it. Right. Well said, sister. It is very true. Sometimes we overlook even on our own self or so. That's so why it is good to be always full of good wishes. When we have good wishes, we'll experience the aware stage easily. We'll go into the flying stage because our feelings and intentions are good, pure. And when we have benevolent feelings for everyone, feelings of being loving and cooperative, feelings of increasing the courage and enthusiasm, and the soul consciousness, Baba always say body consciousness is the number one enemy. 
So the soul consciousness and the sense of belonging to this Vasudev family, godly family, you know, it's a pure pride, no? Every brick counts, Baba says. So we are establishing the new world. And who is laying the foundation stone? It is us. It's a pure pride, no? Satyuk was created by God and we are the ones who were in the establishment. It's such a nice feeling you have. Om Shanti, anyone else want to share? Yes, uh, Renu Ben. No. Yes, Om Shanti. Okay. We are already seeing right now the situation which is going in the world with Ukraine and Russia. So Baba is already showing the example of the destruction right now that this is going to be happen in future. So we have to make our power, power so strong means we should be become so powerful that this situation means the power of silence, our united thoughts and one attitude should be there in us. So Baba is saying that this is the only time to increase your effort and accumulate as many things as you want from me. Om Shanti. Shanti, it's so true. It is the end of time. Baba keeps telling us, be ever ready. Suddenly anything will happen over a long period of time. You have to practice. Don't think I can do it at the end. It is so dangerous. Who thought today... Uh, yeah, last night we received a video. The Russian sisters were having a farewell little dance with uh, Didi uh, Nirmala. So you see, one moment you are happy here, the next moment you're going to your country. Whether you'll be able to go or not, that's a question mark. But who thought the war will break up? And they sent the link for us to have this. They are having 24 hours bhakti. So we also started doing last night itself. No matter what happens, Brahmin cannot lose their stability. Because when we are stable, then only we can become true devtas to give. We are bestowers. How are we going to give peace to the world if we are not stable? Because the moment the war breaks up, if we are shaken up, then it is going to affect our stage. No matter what, Baba is with us. 5,000 years ago, it happened. It will happen again. We did it. We are the victorious jewels and we will be victorious again. So this pure pride will make us sail through. Om Shanti Angels. Anyone else want to share anything? Are you all done? Anyone? Sandhya Ben, Sujata Ben. All these are active ones. <laughs> Maybe you all are busy. Interject by how are you? You have always been working very hard, I can see. Lata Ben is here. Pratipa Ben is here. Madhu Ben is here. Anyone else on the share? If not, then we will go into the announcement before we wind up with that. So yes. Renuben, there is an announcement, so you can go yes. ahead and I'll share the flyer. Okay, you can help to share the flyer, Benji. I'll just announce. Yes, it. yeah, I'll share the flyer. Om Shanti, Divine Angels, before we wind up for the day, this is a gentle reminder. It's our fortune every Sunday. We are able to invite someone from our godly fam family, either locally or abroad, to share. And this coming Sunday, that is on the 27th February, 2022, 5.30 a.m. Indian Standard Time, we have our very own Nimit Atma, Vimesh Mehta Vaidhi, who will be sharing on the topic of attachment from bondage to freedom. Dear Bhai Behan, the link is the same. The flyer is readily available. We have to just give a helping hand to Baba to reach out to whoever we can. Why? You wonder why is it? Because as we all know, amongst our vices, this delicate topic of attachment and bondage has been the top of our Brahmin community, especially mothers, grandmothers, 
grandfathers and many others. So how to conquer it? Baba has used him and let us together do our part for Baba. He will say shukriya to Baba. Thank you. And please take note of the time. Om Shanti, Benjis. Om Shanti. Uh, yes, in the tip, <laughs> I have a question. Yes, Baiji. Is, are you guys uh, part of this global bhakti on 26th? which is tomorrow, like today, uh, tomorrow for you guys? They have given the link. So it's good to join, Baiji. You have the link ready? No, no, I have it. I'm just asking because I will not be able to join on Sunday because we have a Saturday here, which we will be doing like whole day from 3 a.m. in the morning till 9 p.m. Okay. The U.S. time. So I'm just curious that if you guys are doing that kind of stuff or not. So... I will not be able to join on Sunday morning because it'll be Saturday and we will be part of this, uh, the sessions. Oh, you are in US. I didn't realize that by G. But good, a lot of effort you're making. Congratulations. Baba no, no. is so proud of you. No, no. Baba is helping me. I have, no, I have nothing. He's, he's the Karu Kravanahar. Okay? He's the one doing all of it. That's right. So when we push ourselves, the word push itself, they say, what well, you persist until something happens. And our magic happens. When we push, Baba we gives us a lift, uplifts us. Yes, agree, 100%. Thank you. Om Shanti. Thank you, Om Shanti. So. Uh, sister, can you share that Global Bhakti link? I don't think I have that. Om Shanti. Don't have maybe we will ask uh, Rocky Ben to put in the group. Is it okay? Oh, there she has already done. Thank Apurwa, you. Apurwa ben has done it. Thank you very much, Wendy. Thank you for that. Uh, when, when can we move on to meditation for a few minutes? Yeah, sure. Okay. Ami Ben, we're going to put some music. constantly talks about the five forms we will do a simple commentary on the five forms our original form how we came and how we came down the ladder and we are going back I the soul am face to face with Shubhaba in Parandam constantly charging myself with Baba's rays and I become the master son of knowledge destroying the world's darkness the people of the world are in ignorance I the soul to earth, Baba sends me to paradise, heaven. I am a deity soul, gifted to come and stay in Satyu, full of all virtues and powers. Decorated with all jewelry, living a happy, blissful life with my deity clan. Then I, the soul, move on and become worthy of worship in the form of Ganesh. Or Durga. I am doing welfare of complete humanity. 
these forms of worship are done in the temples and homes then coming to the end of the cycle that is the end of kali yuga as the whole world is searching for god my greatest fortune i come to know baba i come to know myself and i come to know my home as a brahmin I am gifted to be nurtured by my father, God Himself, transforming me with His grace, His drishti, His love, the jewels of knowledge of time. of the three worlds things which i have got clarity only now baba feeds me and finally he gives me his canopy of protection i the soul am a lucky fortunate brahmin soul I am an angel on a godly mission flying all over the universe spreading the light and might of god spreading the rays of purity peace love joy please and removing helping to spread baba's rays to remove the pain and sorrow of souls and guide them towards baba praneshwar the life giver to the whole world and slowly i re- i remove this angelic costume and return home to paranda to be with my beloved father om shanti shukriya baba shukriya to all angels and we will meet again tomorrow at 5:30 am thank you very very much and have a blissful day om shanti om shanti om, om. Thank you.